We're doing it. I'm so excited. Oh my God. You're excited. I'm excited. I'm so, ex I'm so excited. You know, I haven't told you this before, but you are like, I, 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 I've been watching your stuff. I mean, I, of course I saw it on Love You More, but I watched away, you blew me away. You're becoming one of my favorite actresses. Really? Yeah, and of course I've seen you, you know, do other work, but I mean, you're just amazing. You really well, are. Thank, thank you. Everyone, Felicia Patty. <laughs> uh, sometimes I do introduction. I'm starting to like, you know, go with the flow on introductions and I just, you're, yeah. So I have a question. When, I mean, like I said, you're a phenomenal actress. When did you know you wanted to become part of the entertainment industry? When I was little, I watched um, my favorite show called John Hospital. It's a soap opera. Really? Yeah. Okay. I got named after that show. Did you, so that's actually one of your dreams to be on General Hospital? Yeah. Okay. General Hospital, if you're listening, Hire this woman. She's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you have a favorite my character on, on General Hospital? Uh, yes. Uh, his name is Steve Barton. He plays Jason. Okay. And I like the other one. His name is Maurice Bernard. He plays Sonny Calentos on General Hospital. Nice. So that was your, that was something you watched that and you said, I want to do that. Yeah. No. Did you, and, oh, go ahead. And then I saw my older brother, Johnny, on TV. And he was on Everybody Hates Chris. He was young. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, did he, is he still acting or is he now directing? He's directing. He's a director now. Mm -hmm. okay. This is very cool. So it's all in the family. You all, you all have that that entertainment magic. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So, um, God, you know, I'm going to throw something sort of out of left field, but it's all connected. What is your favorite word? My favorite word. Ooh. Peaceful. Really? Why peaceful? Because everything is peace in, in this world. Yeah. And, uh, and when it starts getting unpeaceful, we make it peaceful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it. So, of course, you and I met on the set of Love You More. Yeah. Uh, that was an amazing show. Oh, my gosh. It was one of my favorite, like, you know, I have to say, it, it, you know, ten, your top 10 moments in your life, right now I would have to say it's in my top 10. How, how did you get Love You More? I was, uh, I went to New York mm -hmm. City and I went to the um, audition and I got audition for a role with Down Syndrome and I played Brittany and I didn't know I was gonna get it, but I was like, when I got it, I was like so excited. Oh my God, I love that. Now, did you have an agent that submitted you or? Uh, yeah, uh, Gail. Oh, okay. So you you connected with Gail, even though you were on the East Coast, you still had Gail. Yeah. This is great. I was, I, actually, I was at the, I volunteer at the Down Syndrome Congress in Burlington. Oh, got it. And I got Gail as my as my agent. Yeah. Through the through the Massachusetts Down Syndrome Congress. Nice. Have you have you always been an advocate, or when did you start being an advocate? And then... In 2016. Nice. Very nice. So, what was your favorite thing about your your role, Brittany? Right. Yeah. What what was what was something about Brittany that you enjoyed that you could relate to that maybe you didn't relate to? I was I, for my character Brittany. I was um, 
I was kind of a little bit sassy. I was so into fashion. I had a boyfriend on the set. Yeah. I was FaceTiming him. I love you, Karen. I love you more. What are you doing now, babe? Nothing. I just woke up. What are you doing? Whoa! Karen! Hey, Karen. Jackson, hi. Brittany will call you back today like a thousand times. Bye. Bye, Karen. Karen, he's going to break up with me. Ladies, trust me. Guys like a woman who's not always available. Now, come on. Let's go. Morning meeting. Come on. Let's go. Thank you. Uh, I love that. That was a great, it's like, wait a minute. Yeah. I love that moment. It feels like I was like, better, I was like, more, more better than anybody out there. Oh, my God. That was the, the your character's yeah. sort of feel. I loved it. I mean, and you were on a set. I mean, the cast was incredible. I, I mean, we still say that this show needs to come back, but I mean, Jamie Brewer was in the cast with you, John Tucker, Lonnie Anderson, uh, Luke Zimmerman, Casey Powell, Kevin Ewing. Um, Josh Eber. Well, who, who? Josh. Yes, Joshua Eber. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, and then uh, of, of course, the lead actress, in the show. Bridget Everett. Yes, Bridget Everett. Um, and directed by Bob, Bob Cat Goldthwaite and produced by, you know, Sex in the City's Michael Patrick King. I mean, I could keep on going with it. The, I mean, Margaret Mueller, Ronaldo, uh, Ronaldo uh, uh, Gaos, uh, uh, Karen Pittman. I mean, such a cast and it was just so fun. I, I it was like, a journey. I, I loved it. It was great. Well, now, of course, you that sparked uh, another. I mean, I want to stay on that. I, I could go back and forth. Well, but that that did that spark the next big um, acting job for you? Actually, I did um, another show after that. Right. I I did, I did um, away with Henry right. Swank. Right. So did that spark that job? I mean, how did you get that one? Did they see your work on that? Yeah. Yeah. Now, what was the audition process for that, for a way? I was auditioning for a character named Cassie Ramirez. Mm -hmm. she, had, she, she had Down syndrome in the show Isabel is Space. Nice. Nice. But, my, but my mom, who plays Melissa, she didn't go to Mars. She stayed back on Earth. Oh, got it. All uh, right. You know, I have to say, I saw your scenes the other day. I mean, I, 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 and that's another sh show that is like brilliant, great acting. It tugs at the heart. And it's it, that's another show that needs to go more and more. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! So what was what was your character was different in that one? Yeah. What was what was the difference between um, Cassie and Brittany? Cassie was like fun, sweet, out, outgoing, loving. Yeah. Everybody wanted to be around me. Yeah. Yeah, and Brittany was sort of like, they still liked you, but you were a little- I, I was kind of a little bit like sassy and, and attitude -y. Right. Yeah. Um, and you work with, I mean, what are the, that cast, what, uh, Hilary Swank, uh, uh, Josh Charles, Tathelia yeah. Bateman, M Monique Gab Gabriella Kernan. Mm-hmm. What was it like? What was it like on that set? Because you did a whole season of that. How was it to do those? You had what seven episodes? Uh, yeah. It was that set was really fun too. Yeah. Then Adam was in it. My my friend Adam. Oh. He played Isaac. Oh, okay. So you 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 knew him before? No, I never met him before, but he was in the in the cast of the show. Nice. Very cool. And then Talitha Bateman, of course. Right. Yeah, I mean, everyone was so great in that show. I miss it. I miss everyone. 
it's interesting, you know, when, when you're talking about these shows that you've been on, there's really wonderful for shows. I mean, Amazon on Amazon and 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 was it on Netflix as well? Yeah. It was uh, on Netflix, it's on Away. Away was Netflix, Amazon was um Love You Love More. You. What uh, uh, it's interesting how these these um these shows again are so such a family there it's it's in acting as 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 we know it's it's such you can make these little families along the way um i love it i love it what 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 is what is your dream in life my dream is to be on general hospital ah of course yeah. <laughs> that that came out of the that is my biggest 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 thing is to be on a soap opera with Maurice Bernard, Steve Bart, and, and Laura. Okay, okay. Um, I think uh, I think I think that's got to happen in the next year. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I hope, I hope my my older brother put me in something. Oh well, you know, he's just waiting for the perfect role. Yeah. God, I'd love to work with him on one of his films. I mean, you were you you worked with him before. With Johnny? Yeah. 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 So. I was in his short film also. Okay. Okay. And that's online too as well, correct? That was on Amazon Prime. Okay. What's the name of it? God Don't Love Ugly. I love that. I've got to check that out. I've got to check that. That was the one thing I haven't seen yet. Yeah. That was about stop, um, stopping the violence. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. So, I mean, I want to go back to away for a second. You were talking okay. about, you had the connection with your mom in that. Monique was mm -hmm. incredible. I mean, the, the two of you were amazing together. How, what yeah. is that, the relationship? That relationship was awesome. It was so fun. Like she said, She's still my best friend still. We talk all the time. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's nice that you can still keep in touch with people you are with. Yeah. She is, like, amazing. Yeah? yeah. How, how is Felicia, Monique? Oh, Felicia is one of the best people in the world. <laughs> hi, Felicia! <laughs> hi, hi, Monique! So nice to see you. Congratulations on this wonderful interview. Thank you. You look gorgeous and radiant as always. Thank you so much. <laughs> I have to say the two of you on that show had such wonderful chemistry and I love that show. I mean, everybody was, it, it was truly a family. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. It was like um, a journey of that show. Right, right. Yeah. So, what, um, what, now, where was this shot? Where was it shot? Vancouver, Canada. Oh, and then right. after, we went to New Mexico. I love that. I love that. My, did, you my, talk, did you talk about horseback riding yet? Oh, no, not yet. Horseback riding was so much fun. I remember that scene where you were on it. Tell, tell, tell me about what, what happened there. Did you, was that your first time? Uh, actually, no, I did horseback riding lessons here in Boston. His name is Midnight. But was it your first time um, on a horse for a TV show, Felicia? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Monique, did you, did you uh, also, was this your first time on a horse? It wasn't my first time, yeah. but these horses, I, yeah, this, it wasn't my first time, but there, I, it had been so long that I think I forgot the scale of how majestic and strong and big an animal they are. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, one of the things I appreciate about Felicia is her presence and her openness and her expression. And I think sometimes, uh, 
you know, things are happening that are like, oh my God, this is overwhelming and big. And um, Felicia was able to talk through it and her courage, I think, inspired all of us um, because, uh, you know, Talitha and I were, were, I think we had both ridden before, but we were, it was new to us again after many years. So it was good to experience it all together as a group. That's, that's beautiful. And, and, and I love the inclusion of, of, of everyone in the shows that are, that this show had. Um, it was a, a, a mix of love and connection and, and it, it, it took you to those places of, you know, angst and um, at the same time love and it's, it was amazing. I, what, what is up for you next um, or for, for both of you? Uh, what is your next uh, little venture? I hope I get more jobs for acting because it's really hard because it's really hard for people with Down syndrome to, to get jobs mm. for acting. But I, I say General Hospital is next. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and Felicia, it's just a matter of time. I, your work speaks for itself. And, you know, Away was so beloved and well received. And I know there's more and more happening. I, I read a pilot um, where there's a Down syndrome character for a new pilot called Dangerous Moms. Mm -hmm. So that gave me a lot of hope to see that yet again, someone is incorporating, you know, Down syndrome actors into um, the plot. And yeah, I think, you know, what inspires me too about Felicia is that um, she's an expert vision boarder. And so she's always like, you know, here we are, there's my vision board, like you got to get to it, Monique. And so I, I haven't fully finished mine yet, but I'm like, I, I'll practice my envisioning and then uh, I have to put it into um, physical form or at least digital form. I hear some people use Pinterest to, oh, really? to make their vision boards. You know, it's, yet, so, it's so funny because a couple of years ago, my dear friend, Angela Rockwood, who was um, uh, the producer, executive producer, and one of the stars of, um, uh, oh, uh, oh my God. Now it's, I was right in her backyard when they filmed it. Uh, <laughs> Push Girls. <laughs> How could I mean? She, I would go to her house while well, I lived in her guest house. So we would have vision board parties that she would, okay, since she talked about vision board, <laughs> I've got to get mine. Okay. <laughs> vision board. So Felicia, you do these all the time? I love them. Like my, I, my mom prints pictures out for me. Oh my God. That's you know, a terrific one, David. Isn't it fun? Oh my, oh my God. That is so wow. cool. I did it. It's at my next breath and it, it represents, um, it represents this film that we've been working on for years. It's a documentary slash morph of something else. And anyway, after 12 years, it's finally percolating again. So, um, Fantastic. plus it's the my next breath of your life. What do you want to do at this moment in your life? In fact, that's a good question to ask both of you. What do you want the most at this moment in your life? I want just to be nice to everyone. On the that's what I want is for people to be nice. What, why is that important to you? Because I don't want people to be mean to everyone. Yeah. It's, it's, not, not, it's not nice. No. And it's so much, it's so much you could breathe being nice. I, 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 I you, you know, nice, I can breathe. Mean, you know, it feels like a tight word. Mm-hmm. And you're too, you're too um, intense a lot. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, I second that emotion and, and it's a choice, you know, and it's an interesting choice. I mean, we all get stressed out, right? And we can all have, get caught up in our feelings, but if we can just press pause and say, okay, let me resolve this. These are my feelings. I don't need to project them out onto the world or kind of spout forth an anger. Um, mm -hmm. 
there's something about pressing pause and making that decision to to be nice or to you know or at, be civil you know which is so powerful right now in the world in which we're living so i i second that emotion felicia i i really hope that we can be a lot more civil with each other and listen and respect each other's humanity, mm -hmm. um, you know, which I think was such a powerful part of the show that we were on both in front of and behind the camera. We, I think we have to give kudos to the writers, uh, Andrew Heindraker and Jessica Goldberg and their team because they really wrote these these phenomenal deep characters with deep feelings and, and who had to face you know, their choices, uh, very, the, the repercussions of their choices, um, and how it, it emphasized that importance. So I'm all for civility and I'm all for us creating our own work so that, you know, more characters for Felicia, more in my care, in my case, you know, women of color mm -hmm. and um, diverse voices of different ethnic backgrounds. I think um, I think there's it's a, a powerful moment right now. Yeah, it is. And like you were talking about humanity, I mean, I I, I still can't wrap around my my mind can't wrap around the people who are trying to divide, where we're all on this little blue planet and we're all called humanity. So it's like, wait a minute, let's let's just party with each other, party, you know, doesn't it, or just being with each other. It's just, it's, it's a, it's, it's so perplexing, isn't it? Because all the studies show that everyone does better economically when we work better together. You know, there's better quality of life, you know, um, I, I was so mystified by all the people calling for violence around January 6th. I was like, do you, do you realize what that you want to live in that like that's that how is that desirable as a as a future as opposed to working for you know civility and peace and and concert and moving together forward more okay. strongly so well yeah. one, one thing that i do see which is a positive is that the art especially like a way like um, uh, uh, love you more, like the shows that Felicia have done and you have done, are bringing people together in the sense of, wait a minute, we are all, we're all here, and like you said, it's just, it's working together to bring a better world, changing. It's the shift of the mind. You could look back. You know, I was talking to a friend the other day about looking at your life in a in the positive way or the negative way. And it's just a little shift and seeing everything from the positive side. And I think that's what can be done right now in the moment. I have to give tribute to Felicia on that point because I feel like anytime I spoke with her, whether it was four in the morning in the car on the way to work or you know, <laughs> she just gotten in from Boston on a long connecting flight um or you know even when we talk on the phone now um she's a fountain of positivity and it's consistently inspiring for me well it's inspiring for me uh, and i love i love that word inspiring some people go inspiring inspiring it's inspiring to me that the two of you have continued your friendship yeah she doesn't always happen on sets yeah she's great monique is awesome Ma Everyone was. Yeah, it was a special set, a really great group of folks. And, you know, I was lucky to spend a lot of time with Felicia and her mother as well, who's a delight. Oh. And, um, you know, we, I grew up in Massachusetts, not far from where they live. So, you know, COVID obviously kept us apart, but I'm hoping to be there more and more and, um, I'm sorry, is the rain outside my window, is that too loud? No, no, okay. not at all. Okay, good. It's beautiful. Just a what, what area are, is, are you in, on the East Coast? Yeah, East Coast. Okay, all right. You know, I asked Felicia at the beginning, what was her favorite word? Do you have a favorite word? 
do I have a favorite word? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, I, I would, I think that possibly love is my most favorite word for what it represents. Mm. And then my second favorite word is mellifluous, just because <gasps> it sounds amazing. <laughs> and it just rolls, it rolls off the tongue like honey. And I just love, you know, saying it. And uh, I like the meaning of it as well. So those, you know, love and mellifluous, I think go arm in arm for my favorite word. I love it. I love that. It's interesting too, because I was, uh, I sort of have that same thing, but I would always say, okay, first place, second place kind of thing. And love is definitely, I mean, um, I have, you know, I used to collect Wicked Witches of the West, <laughs> <laughs> but now I got rid of that. And now I have hearts. I collect hearts. And, um, and that's interesting. It took me, I had a therapy moment here. It took me to more than the the physical little hearts that I have around in on my desk, I have um, it's the hearts of of the extended family that I have been blessed with. Um, and my second word, uh, not like yours, but it does roll off the tongue, is um, plethora. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an excellent one. That's an excellent. One. Now, um, did did Felicia introduce you to one of our collective favorite words, which is the double double? No. Felicia, you have to tell them about the double double. A, a, a double double means in in, in Canada, um, it's a, a large iced coffee with extra extra cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can post Felicia with our a double double right now to you. Double Felicia. double to Felicia. <laughs> I I have one in my fridge. Of course you do. Yeah. And oh, t uh, tell tell Monique what your uh, your favorite word was. Peaceful. Oh yes, amen. Yeah. That's an excellent. I that's a, that's another favorite on the list. Well, I look forward to seeing both of you doing your own work again and your other work. I love all your other work, Monique, and it's, and Felicia, you know, I'm one of your biggest fans and I love working with you. Um, Thank you. You changed everything. You really did. David, I, you helped a lot with the, you to be my acting coach for the Meet uh, the Fittest. Oh, uh, well, it's a, it's a joy. I mean, to watch you, to be, watch you do every scene that you do, every time you do a take, it's different. And every time you're in the moment, you're just, I, I'm drawn into you and it's, it's, you're in the moment. You're not, you know, cookie cutter. And yeah. I'm, I'm, again, so blessed that I met you on the set of Love You More. That was a fun, fun um, job that I did is that, and the show on Away with Hilary Swank. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just uh, grateful to to be one of Felicia's friends and collaborators and um, for this opportunity to celebrate her and shine a light on, you know, her very special spirit and work. And um, thank you, David, for, for taking the time to to highlight her, spotlight her. She's so deserving of, of this attention and, um, you know, conversation. So well, this is terrific. Thank you for jo joining us. And, and Felicia, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, send love to your mama. I will. I love you also, David. Oh, uh, I love you more. <laughs> 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 Bye. Thank you. Bye. Love you, Fee. Bye. Love you, Monique. Thank you, Monique. Talk soon. Thank All you. Right. Bye. Bye. Bye.